Good morning, Pastor Jay here with your Wednesday devotion. And one of the questions I've always wondered about is why did God become one of us? Why did God go through with it? I mean, think about it. He had to be born into this world, that feeling of vulnerability as a, as a baby, not just the feeling, but the reality of vulnerability. I mean, they were out to kill Jesus when he was a young child. Uh, remember, Herod was trying to do that. And of course, as he grew up, he went out into his ministry and faced rejection. Um, he faced all kinds of slander. And then, of course, in the end, he was put to death uh, innocently. And so you wonder, why in the world would he do all that? Well, our devotion today from our little book, Mocha with Max, is entitled, God Loves to Be with the Ones He Loves. Listen to this. A family of black-tailed squirrels has made its home amid the roots of the tree north of my office. We've been neighbors for three years now. They watch me peck at the keyboard. I watch them store their nuts and climb up the trunk. We're mutually amused. I could watch them all day. Sometimes I do. But I've never considered becoming one of them. The squirrel world holds no appeal to me. Who wants to sleep next to a hairy rodent with beady eyes? And then he puts this in parentheses. No comments from you wives who feel you already do. <laughs> Give up the Rocky Mountains, he continues. Bass fishing, weddings, laughter for a hole in the ground and a diet of dirty nuts. Count me out, but count Jesus in. What a world he left. Our classiest mansion would be a tree trunk to him. Earth's finest cuisine would be walnuts on heaven's table. And the idea of becoming a squirrel with claws and tiny teeth and a furry tail, it's nothing compared to God becoming a one-celled embryo and entering the womb of Mary. But he did. The God of the universe kicked against the wall of the womb, was born into the poverty of a peasant, and spent his first night in a free trough for an animal. Why? Because he loves to be with the ones he loves. Boy, that's one of the greatest mysteries of our faith, isn't it? How God could love us that much to become one of us. But thank God he did. Thank God he did. Think about when you're by the side of the road and you've got a flat tire and somebody pulls over and helps you. Uh, you don't know where you're going in a big municipal building and somebody guides you. Somebody shows you the way. It's a blessing, isn't it? And our, our God came down to do that for us, to show us the way home to him to make sure we're never alone, to always be with us, even right here in the middle of our week. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you that you cared enough to send the very best. We thank you, Lord, that you cared enough to come down and be one of us through your son, Jesus. Lord, help us to show that gratitude in the way we are loving and helpful to other people. Lord, make us shine for you with the light that you first shone on us. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I hope you have a great Wednesday and uh, the rest of your week goes in a good way. So God bless you.